First interview, hè? Eh? It's the first time I, uh, I I'm going to a different club, so uh, yeah, very excited to be here. Big club, so uh, hopefully I can uh, show myself here. The first real interest was like a couple of days ago, and yeah, I was stoked. So uh, I was uh, very excited and uh, thought, yeah, that's the place I want to go. With my style of play, um, the step I wanted to make, what I see for myself and in the future, um, was a, the best for me to go to England. Of course, uh, I heard only good things uh, about, uh, about Stoke. Also, Dutch players uh, who, who I played with uh, are here. And also, uh, Marco van Ginkel, uh, who I spoke with about Stoke so, uh, at my club. So, uh, I only heard good things, so it was uh, very natural to, to want to go here. Yeah, Marco was your captain at Arnhem. Uh, what did Marco have to say to you about Stoke City? Yeah, he said, uh, great fans, great atmosphere. He said uh, that it's a, a good step to show yourself. Uh, yeah, and if I, I could go, then it would be a good step for me. Million Manhoof, how excited are you to, to work with Million? Yeah, really excited. He's um, a young player again that seems to have a lot of potential. He's done really well for, uh, for Vitesse, who he, when he came through the academy there. What he brings to us is, um, is a left-footed version of an attacking player, which in the system that we like to play is really important. Somebody you can cut in from the right-hand side and create. So we hope he, he brings that. And again, as you said, with him being a young player, though, it's going to take him a bit of time to settle. It's his first time he's been away from the test in his whole career. So um, I'm sure once he gets settled in as well, he'll really enjoy what we're trying to do. Miriam is a player who's really quick, has a lot of runs in behind, left footed, can take his man. One against one is a, is a strong player. And I think also personality wise, it's, an, it's a young guy who wants to learn, wants to get better, who's hungry. And uh, yeah, we was really happy to be here as well. This is my, what I said, my first time uh, to, uh, to go to a different club and also in uh, another country. So it's, it's going to be new. Uh, but to have some uh, familiar faces is, is of course uh, nice. Wout, uh, he uh, texted me yesterday and we spoke all a bit that if I need something, then, then he will be there. So that's nice. And I think it's important to also have a good uh, yeah, atmosphere and, 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 and set a good to, to perform uh, to your best. Yeah, we, we spoke about it and I did it now for the, for the second time, a uh, move uh, abroad. So I can help him a little bit with like, what he can expect and also I know a little bit about the area. So I think for him it's nice that uh, he has me and for example Kiana who speak his own language and we can help him a little bit out. But I know from him that he's also mature, uh, a mature guy and he will find his way himself as well. We had a good meeting uh, the other day in this office and spoke to him about what his role looks like and he was asking questions so seems like an intelligent lad um, and really bright and bubbly and a good personality again which, which is what we want to bring to the club so I'm sure he's um, going to be a fan's favourite and hopefully he can get hit the ground running. Yeah, I'm an uh, attacking player, um, pretty fast, strong. Small but strong, uh, explosive, uh, try to create uh, always uh, things with passes, dribbling. Uh, I think I, I can also score uh, some goals and, and also uh, put, have a good cross to, uh, to give assists. Um, and yeah, that's what I want to do, be important for the team, uh, help them uh, and yeah, show my skills. When you step over the white line, what's your biggest motivation? Uh, I think my uh, my family, my family who always support me uh, when when I was a little boy and and everyone was standing in the in the rain and in the cold and now they can stand in the stadium. So when I step over the line, I, I cannot uh, disrespect them by not performing uh, to my fullest. So I think that's the biggest motivation. And of course, I love football. I I love to play and I love to win. Um, so I have a winner winner's mentality. So I. I think uh, always doesn't matter if we play uh, football or chess or something. I, I just want to win, so uh, so that's uh, my motivation. Do you and the staff really enjoy that working with young players with that sort of infectious personality? Absolutely, it's the best thing because it gives you so much sort of 
so much joy when, you, when you've put the time in with the young players and you can see the development and you see them grow and you see them get better. So that's what we'll be trying to do now. We know at Million in particular, that's not going to be easy because it's going to take him time, as I say, to settle into the championship. But once he, once he sort of gets up and running and we see him grow and we see him get better week in, week out, then, as I say, it's the best thing as a coach because that's what we're here for, to, to try and make people improve. And just finally, if you had one message to the Stoke City supporters, what would that be? Yeah, I think uh, to the fans, um, happy to be here, happy to, uh, to play for these colours and uh, for you guys. Hopefully I can, I can show my skills and, uh, and we can, can uh, do some uh, good things together. And uh, excited to uh, see you all, uh, hopefully uh, Saturday.